Shaber 1000 here. Today, as you can see, I got the boat way up in the air, and that's because we're going to be putting lights on the trailer. I'm going to be putting these LEDs on, and I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, your results may vary because, you know, different trailers, you might have to run your wires differently. But I'll explain to you the different things, different wirings that you should use and stuff like that. Coming right up. Stay tuned. Okay guys, the first step, we're gonna cut these wires. They're right back here. Good enough. Now we've got a ground wire, which my new lights don't have the uh, the eyelet, so I'm probably gonna have to put an eyelet on it. I'll show you that here in just a second. These haven't been on here that long. Now once, once I get these off here, now see my tag, I'm not sure what I'm going to do because it's going to stick way out and I don't like that. Down here in Florida, you can get like motorcycle size tags for your boat trailers. So I'm going to see about getting one of them. But until then, I'll probably put this one back on right where it is all right so my new lights these are 7 16 by the way these ones here my my new lights don't have that so uh, they're going to go up here on the rollers up here but okay so these things here once these get rusty, these haven't been on here that long, but once these get rusty, they'll spin inside that plastic. <laughs> and if you got that problem, you're probably going to have to reach in there with a cutoff tool or something and cut them off. If they break, oh well, so be it, because you can buy these bolts. Uh, so, I mean, if you're not going to reuse them, um, you know just break them off or whatever so you can get to it But if you're going to reuse them, that's what you're going to have to do But what I'm going to do is I'm going to save these because they are LED and they are submersible I just don't like them for this trailer. So I'll probably sell them to somebody for five bucks They should be worth that uh, And again your left Your left lights always going to be yellow your right one's going to be green your brown's always going to be your um, your tail lights, your running lights, tail lights. Yellow, like I said, is your left and right turn and your brake. Your white's your ground, okay? And also, your left will always have a clear underneath it. That clear light is uh, is for your license plate light. So I'll probably have to put this back on for now. I mean, you gotta have a tag, right? Uh, they can still pull us over if they can't see it, but we haven't had an issue yet. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side, and we're gonna yank all this wire out, and just because I'm rewiring the whole trailer. Okay, now if I remember right, this thing already had holes in here in the frame, and I just put these little wire ties in. And I'll show you what they look like when they come through. They look like this. So I'm just going to cut these off and I'm going to pull these wires out to the front and yank them all out. And then I'll start wiring the, uh, the new wires back through here. And I'm going to do them the same way. This is called um, the Y, okay? Uh, not on the trailer, but the the wiring and I'll show you that and I'll touch on that more here in just a minute but let me get these go ahead and get these cut off it's self-explanatory you just cut the other end off and these will come off you know or just pull them out 
you push that through I'll put new ones on um, so that's what I'm gonna do right now and I'll show you something here real quick I don't know how well you can see it but I'm not sure if this one's like that or not but if you look in there well, I don't have to show you out here in the light Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you. See how it's all white in there? That's because that's from water getting in there. And what that does is start eating it all the way up through your wires. So you'll start, you know, all right, I'll just put a patch in that wire. And the next thing you know, now you got two places for it to leak or you know to start corroding and then more and more and more and i'll show you what i do to stop that now up here at the top this is called the pigtail four way flat up here still good okay so i'm going to cut these and i'll save this four way flat for another project let's continue on now, a little bit about wiring sometimes you'll get these like i said it's kind of they call it a y it's where you got your green and brown run down one side, your yellow brown run down the other side for left and right. Now sometimes you'll get these where you only have green, yellow, brown, and white. And they run just run down the side and then you gotta split it off and run across the back. Now that's okay for trailers that are on the road, but if you if you have a boat trailer you don't want any wires running across the back of your boat okay or your boat trailer you always want to run one set down the left side and one set down the right side so anyway I wanted to show you that so bear that in mind I mean you can do it the other way but chances you know of your wire in the back hanging down catching onto something at the ramp or your boat grabbing it and yanking it uh, you know chances are higher this way I don't have any wires running across the back I don't have to worry about that okay so now what a lot of guys won't mention to you about these four-way flats what if you have a seven-way plug the big round plug with seven you got six around the outside and you got one center pin that center pin is your your brakes that that would be a blue wire and then you have an auxiliary uh, which is usually a red wire what that is is if you've got a dump trailer or something that has batteries in it that will keep your um, your battery charged for your dump trailer now if you have one of those you don't have to cut this and put one of them on it you can get an adapter seven way plug is the big round one I'll uh, shoot a picture of it across the screen right now if you have one of those but you got a four-way flat for your boat or whatever now here's a picture of the adapter you get that adapter um, just goes from seven way down to four way and you don't have to change this and um, so what I like to do is I'm not I'm just going to run the wires down each side and I'm not going to connect them yet because I like to start at the back because a lot of guys they'll start at the back come up the front and they got three feet of wire out here then they got to cut it down and anytime there's a connection you have a potential for other problems you know um, so what I like to do is the least connections as possible like I got side marker lights to put on this um, since it's such a small trailer I'm not going to put them on because again, I'll have to tap in to my brown wire on each side. That technically is two more taps, that's two more connections that can get moisture in them, 
um, they can start you know eating wire the wires up but I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this run these down each side and go to the back and then I'll show you how I'm gonna run my lights okay guys I got this prepped I'm just gonna show you one then we'll head back out to the boat what I did was I put a piece of uh, shrink tube on here now I'm just gonna take these two wires I'm gonna kind of shove them into each other just like that see that then I'm just going to twist them twist them together like this makes a nice good connection I've got this already tensed up now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to solder these wires so if I can get it to where you can see it here I don't have one of them holders make sure you get a good good solder on it yeah, I know you can use butt connectors just put grease or something on them I know that but this is always a lot better if it's going to be permanent you want it to stay permanent right because butt connectors they'll pull apart real easy you'll break the wire on this before you before it comes apart once it's soldered that's it it ain't going anywhere alright get it all the way around there soldering irons not the best but it's the best I got so all right, now I'm gonna let this cool down for a second. Then we're gonna we're gonna run this up on here. And um, what a lot of guys will do, they'll take this and go over go over top of the uh, the shrink wrap. Um, but I find sometimes when you do that, you actually melt through it. Then it kind of defeats the purpose in, of having it. Uh, the best way is use a heat gun. I'm not sure where my heat gun is, so I'm just going to be using my lighter. So, and make sure we can slide this up on there. And I go a good ways, guys, because I want it sealed the best I can seal. If it's on a regular trailer, yes, yeah, you can use butt connectors and all that is fine. But remember, these a lot of times are going to get smudged, and then. Just take your lighter and you can see that shrink right around there nice and tight you get a nice clean look and what I forgot to do right now is what I normally do is and I have it right here is I'll put a little I'll put a little Vaseline on that connection and then uh, and then put my shrink wrap on but I forgot but so if I have any issues with my ground I'll know why but this should be pretty much watertight so I'm going to do that to the other one uh, I pre-made these I didn't actually really have to do a whole lot the holes already lined up perfect with this stainless steel piano hinge there's where I cut them out of and then I just rounded them I didn't have to drill any holes or anything those were already there and they were already perfect so let me get the other ground wire prepped and then we'll head back out to the boat trailer now I'm going to use my little copper wire here and we're going to go down through through our bunk or our loading roller it's not the bunk <laughs> and I'm going to keep going until it comes out the bottom and then I'll hook my light wires up to the end of this and I'll pull it through so I'm going to fish this down through and I'll kick you back on when I'm pulling it back up through okay change of plans I can't run it through this tube because down here at the bottom of this tube the way they bent it it collapses the center there's not enough room in between here to pull these wires up through so I'm just going to have to go boop, up the side of it I hate that now I could drill here and here and I could bring it through come out here and then back in here but I don't want to weaken this more holes you got in here you know the the more chance of it rusting out and getting weak 
So, I'm gonna run it up beside it, and I'm gonna zip tie it with my handy dandy zip ties here. And uh, I guess we'll have to do it that way. Um, yeah, I like to keep them inside as much as possible so they don't catch on things and stuff like that. So now I know I told you I start back here because I don't want a lot up front. But in my case, I need a lot up front because what I'm going to do is I'm eventually going to extend this trailer. 18 inches right so I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to need after that just probably 18 more inches than what I've got here but that way I know I will have enough when I extend my trailer so I'm going to come up Cause I got some I'm gonna come up about like that and I'm gonna hook my wires together or hook my wires up at the lights the same way I did the ground wire and the ground wire is not going to run clear up to the front it can run on any ground well this is a good ground so what I'll be doing here Is I'll be mounting my light oh right about here somewhere right in here I don't have the screws on the back yet so I'm gonna mount about right there that's about where it's going to be mounted so I've got plenty of wire then what I'll do is on the back of here I'll just push put that on there like that then I'll shove the extra up inside of here and then that'll be my ground it'll be like this okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I may have to use two of these it doesn't feel real sturdy if I do it's no big deal I can make two more and uh, but I'm gonna go ahead wherever I put my screws at or my nuts I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to drill this out or run myself tappers in here and see if this is going to be strong enough. It should be. If not, like I said, I'll run two on each side. All right, so we got a little rain. I got stainless steel nut and bolt here. It's just a carriage bolt. I think I think I can get it tightened. Okay, so bring this up here. And I went ahead and made a couple more mounts. So I'm doubling up on them. I think it'll be just fine now. So, all right, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this tightened up about right there. And then we'll hook the wires up. All right. Yeah, I think that'll be just fine. So now I'm going to hook hook the yellow and brown up. And then what I have left over, I'm just going to stick down this hole back behind here. And I think everything's going to be alright. So I'm just going to go ahead and solder these up the way, the way I did the... Uh, The way I did the uh, the ground wire. Trouble remembering what I'm going to say here lately. All right, so I need to go get my soldering stuff, and these are just going to come over here. They're going to go down here, and then into that hole. So, all right, guys. Well, there's a hole right here. I'll probably just 
stick them in this hole. I'll show you when I'm done how I ran this. So, yeah, this is going to be all right. This will work just fine. Then I can shove my extra down inside there. So let me get these soldered up, and then I'll be back with you. So there's what we got. Get this mounted on there. That's pretty solid. It's more solid than I thought, really. So these are tight. There's my ground, which is in turn grounded to that, which is grounded to the frame. Um, so what I did was I brought the wires up through here and out this top hole here, right into there. Like I said, I had to run them here, but that's okay. I've got a little extra there that I'm going to pull underneath there that I'm going to pull out front. And I'm going to leave me a little extra. And I'm just going to tie the zip tie it up inside there so it looks nice. Because like I said, I'm going to, whoops, sorry. I'm going to extend, I'm going to extend this frame out here 18 inches, a foot and a half. Okay, because see right now I don't have it jacked up or nothing, see? It just all the weights in the back because this is not the right trailer for this boat there's too much overhang that right there is the end of the trailer and you see how much overhang it is so when you see it sitting straight it's because I got a jack under the back or I've got a battery up here or something to you know bring it down so I've got to extend this out 18 inches that'll bring my boat forward 18 inches and that'll be about where I need to be so I'm going to leave a little extra up inside of here and that way when I do extend see I like to run these about 18 inches out you're good to go so if I extend this 18 inches out which would be about right there it's gonna to be too short then I can lengthen my wires so everything I just did here I'm gonna go do on the other side and I'll bring you along with me when I button up the front I'll show you what I'm gonna do up here these are my little zip ties to go through these little holes here right there to hold my to hold my wires up out of the way and then we'll uh well we'll turn the boat this way and i'll back the chevy back here and we'll hook them up and see if they work so i'm going to go ahead and get this side done like i said we had a little rain it looks like it may rain some more so I want to get it done before it rains. We'd like to take the boat out this weekend. So, um, yeah. Uh, like I said, this light here, there's one on the other side was from, I don't know, somewhere down the line, somebody put them on there. I'm not gonna worry about it. It's not long enough trailer to have to have them side marker lights. So, you know, legally. I mean, yeah, they look cool, but in the long run, you know, this thing's submerged clear. You know, I mean, it gets submerged clear up to here uh, sometimes, depending on the ramp. All right, let me get this side on, and then we'll button the front end up together. And we'll hook it up to the Chevy and see if they work. Okay, guys, so we got this done here. Got the ground hooked up up in here. And over here, all the extras, as if tied up in here. Now, what I was going to mention to you is sometimes, well, usually, I'll leave some extra there because, you know, these lights, they quit work and they'll, you know, get broke off or whatever. And you have to replace them, so you always want to leave some extra down in there hidden or zip tied up there so you can pull it out. But I didn't this time because I've got plenty up here. Once I once I stretch this frame out again, 18 inches, then I'll run I'll run it back, and then I'll uh, leave a little extra back there. But right now, if something happens, see I've got all this extra up here. I can slide back to it. So we've got this in here. Now I'm going to try to try to do this. Monkey took her mom for a walk. So, uh, I'm going to try to pull this down, latch it on there, and we're going to check our lights, make sure the lights are working. There's also something else I wanted to check. I want to see if this gate will open up. So 
until I can get a backup camera in here, I can raise that gate up and you can see a lot better when you're backing this thing down the ramp. Because these, these little boats, these skinny boats and the uh, uh, jet ski trailers, they're hard to back. And they're single axle, so once they start turning, they're committed. They're going to turn. So. All right, now, stick this in here for now. Now we're going to plug our lights in. And we're going to see if we have any lights. There we go. All right, let me come and get you. <sighs> well, first we gotta turn them on, right? <laughs> okay, so, they're usually on automatic. Copyright, it says auto all. Oh. They'll come on when it's dark. All right. So, well, I see we've got side marker light here. Yeah. And got a light over here. Now, down here in Florida, they say if you can see the vehicle lights, you don't need lights on your trailer, but. Geez, how many times did Monkey get hit? And all her lights work on her truck. <laughs> all right, left turn. Okay. Let's go with the right turn. And if we got those, we'll have brake lights because it doesn't have a module in it. All right, but let's go ahead and set you back here. I'll go ahead and hit the brakes so you can see. And see before, the lights were down there on the fenders. Hell, you can't even see the fenders. You know what I mean? So now, at least, you can see them. I did put that license plate up there. I don't like that because it sticks way out, but Maybe it'll help backing me down. <laughs> Let me go hit the brakes. All right, guys, so there you go. They're working. Like I said, trailer's so small, I don't need to put side markers on it. I think they look cool, but if it was a regular trailer, I'd have it lit up like a Christmas tree, but it's not, so. Uh, they're on their way back. They're down here behind me. There they are. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Shea Bear the Myth, the Man of Legend, gone for now. Uh, it's easy. <laughs> it's real easy. Just make sure you're... Oh, and those little metal clips. I don't know if this came with any or not. But you're supposed to clip your wires up in them. Don't use them things, guys, because... Let me see. It came with like scotch locks and stuff they should have been in this box because I didn't use them okay um, yeah okay they just gave us scotch locks and wire nuts um, but sometimes they'll give you these little metal they look like kind of like a Z or half Z half S that you clip your wire into and then clip it onto the frame of your trailer. Don't use them because these wires are constantly moving. 
and I don't know how many times I had to fix wiring because people used them and they cut through and started shorting stuff out so like blown fuses you know so yeah uh, it's all done looking pretty good so all right guys thanks for watching appreciate it Shea Bear the myth the man the legend I'm gone for now if you have any questions leave in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as it's humanly possible we'll see you guys soon uh, what is it Wednesday enjoy the rest of your week <laughs> bye bye guys and take care I can leave that open when I back down in and I can see the trailer. Cool.